Recently, Novel Keys released a new keyboard, the NK65 V2. It has a 65% layout and it is bare bones, meaning it's meant to be customized with your own switches and keycaps. The NK65 V2 comes in two different variants, the Entry Edition, which features a purple polycarbonate translucent case, and the Aluminum Edition, which obviously features an aluminum case and comes in two different colorways, black and silver. The Entry Edition retails for a stunningly low $95, and the Aluminum Edition retails for a whopping $185. Novel Keys released both variants last week and unfortunately they sold out within a minute. Now fortunately, I managed to get my hands on the one that I wanted, the Entry Edition. We're going to be doing an unboxing video and I'll give you guys my first impressions of it. In addition to this keyboard, I also have a set of Cherry PBT Vaporwave keycaps and some cream switches. All of these products are from Novel Keys. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin the unboxing video with the switches. Taking a look at the box, there's really nothing particularly special about it other than some Novel Keys branded tape here let's go ahead and open it up of course the first thing that you'll see are the switches I did order 80 of them total obviously more than what I need for this video but I will have some extras on hand just in case now as far as trying out the switches we're going to do that later in the video so I'll try to go a little bit more in depth with these switches as far as the other contents of the box all you have here is a little sticker here maybe I love novel keys later or I hate novel keys we'll see but there's that let's go ahead and take Take a look at the Cherry PBT keycaps. Here are the Cherry PBT keycaps. This is the Vaporwave colorway. The only other thing that came in the box is this sticker, as you see here, Gator Ron. So there's that, but as far as the packaging goes, it is pretty straightforward. You do have some Novel Keys branding all along the little slip cover here. Novel Keys on the front, Vaporwave is the colorway. These are double shot PBT. I was interested in getting some GMK keycaps. However, the ones that I wanted are only on group buys right now and it would take several months to get to me. So obviously I needed to make this video. So this is the first thing that was available that caught my attention. So let's go ahead and open it up. There is a flap here and it opens up like so. As I said before, these are double shot PBT. The only thing that concerns me is when you take a look at these keycaps on the website, there are some acceptable quality standards and it is a little bit concerning when you actually take a look at that. But as far as the keycaps look, they do look pretty nice. I think obviously since it's a purple keyboard, purple keycaps should go pretty well with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and check all these keycaps later in the video one by one. And if I have any significant findings, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. But honestly, so far so good. These look pretty nice. You do have two layers, so obviously you you have all the keycaps that are necessary to fit the NK65 V2. But if you are looking for a keycap set for a different type of keyboard, there are several accent keycaps of various sizes. Now let's go ahead and move on to the main product in this video, the keyboard. So here is the keyboard and just like the keycap set, you do have a little slip cover here along the middle. It does advertise the NK65 Entry Edition. You do have Novel Keys branding all around as well as some special Novel Keys branding on the backside. But other than that, pretty straightforward on the packaging. So let's go ahead and take off the slip cover and get started. Okay, so you do have one tab here on the bottom and it's open. At first, I really thought the packaging was pretty large and that there would be some protective padding of some sort, but basically the whole case covers the entire size of the box. So this keyboard does include a really solid carrying case. Let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic. It kind of has a little bit of a gray denim design. Pretty nice, you'll see here along the middle, a rubbery textured logo right here, NK, with the underscore. It does feature one zipper. I would have liked a second zipper with this case, but that's being a little bit nitpicky. There's nothing along the backside, so let's go ahead and and open it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first. Feels a little bit like neoprene. Here is the first thing. It is a type C cable and it is coiled. Unfortunately, this kind of gives off some of that classic landline phone feel. So if you're interested in that sleek landline appearance for your custom keyboard, you are definitely covered in that department. So there's that. The next thing you have here is a little insert by Novel Keys. Make sure your switch pins are straight before inserting into the NK65. Otherwise you can bend one of your pins as shown right there. On the back advertises VIA, which is the software used to customize this keyboard and it can be downloaded from that website. That's it for the accessory compartment here. Now for the main attraction. You do have two straps right here, they are fairly thin and they are Velcro. 
keyboard is also covered in a plastic. Now, as far as a little bit more detail on the casing, you do have a bit of firmness here on the bottom and it is outlined perfectly for this keyboard size. You do have two notches here to easily remove this keyboard inside and outside of the case, but that's pretty much it for the case. Here's the keyboard. Let's go ahead and talk about a few things here. You do have an aluminum backplate, and as you notice here, the LEDs are on the south end of the keyboard, so switches are gonna be south facing. That might be an issue for you if you are interested in backlit keycaps, because most backlit keycap legends are on the north end of the keycap. So, as far as the actual switch sockets go, these are of the five pin design, so these will be able to accept PCB and plate mounted switches. These stabilizers do appear to be lubed from the factory, so that's good. I won't be opening this keyboard, as I don't really have any reason to, but on the inside of this keyboard, there is some sound dampening material that will definitely help with the acoustics. Let's go ahead and take a further look at the body. So obviously, as I said before, this has a purple translucent polycarbonate casing. It is a little bit transparent, so if you're interested in that look, you have that. There are no kickstands. I think this sits at an eight degree angle, if I'm not mistaken. I personally prefer a lower typing angle, but I'm pretty sure I can adjust. Most custom keyboards usually have one typing angle but there's the angle right there on the back side you'll notice that the type c port is on the right side so that might be non-traditional depending on where you're from it is recessed quite a bit so it might not be able to accommodate your cable so make sure that yours is compatible on the bottom side you'll see that internal noise dampening material as well as some cutouts it kind of has that starry effect you do have novel keys here engraved in the middle as well as a long thick rubber strip along both ends of the keyboard top and bottom now with this rubber strip it thins out along the middle here and protrudes even more on the corner so it doesn't sit on the entire strip just on the ends as far as the feel goes it definitely has a nice weight to it it's not too heavy obviously it's plastic but it definitely has a nice weight to it I really don't see any cosmetic imperfections with my board however there is one right here there is a little nick there but I don't think it's gonna be something you can visualize during normal use other than that let's take a closer look at those cream switches here are the Novel Keys cream switches once again. Let's go ahead and take one out and take a closer look. So this is a collaboration between Kale and Novel Keys. Apparently, these switches feature a housing and stem made of POM material. I'm not an engineer, but according to Novel Keys, this is self-lubricating. Honestly, that seems like a marketing gimmick in my opinion, but maybe I'm wrong. If you're a keyboard enthusiast and know more about this material, feel free to chime in. Other than that, guys, this is a leaner switch. It has a total travel distance of four millimeters and an actuation point at two millimeters, which is similar to a Cherry MX Red. The weight at actuation is 55 grams while the weight at bottoming out is 70 grams so these switches are sold in a quantity of 10 for about six dollars and 50 cents currently at novel keys if you can get them in stock what i'm going to do now is go ahead and put all these switches in place and we'll go ahead and take a look at those keycaps Alright guys, so one thing that I noticed is I didn't do a sound test video of these switches before I put them in, so let's go ahead and insert that clip right about now. Now let's go ahead and put on those Vaporwave keycaps. Alright guys, so all of the keycaps are on there except 
for the caps lock key I just wanted to show you guys an example of an imperfection here as you see here there is a large part of the stem missing I have to be honest that bothers me quite a bit other than that guys I really like the look and feel of the keycap set the keycaps were $50 honestly I was looking forward to a GMK set for this keyboard but as far as first impressions go I'm definitely not disappointed it has a really nice weight to it and it feels premium the material is really thick the wall is really thick the colors are really vibrant I'm pretty impressed honestly so what we have next is the sound test I'll spend some time with the keyboard and I'll give you guys my first impressions All right, so I actually got to spend a couple days with the NK65 V2. I intentionally left the board stock and did not want to do any modifications to the switches or the stabilizers because I really wanted to compare this to other boards on the market. Honestly, I've come away really, really impressed with this custom board. The quality of the design and the work put into producing this board is really apparent. From the body to the plate to the indicator lights and the rubber feet, everything is on point. The software is even really intuitive and easy to use. For me, calling it the entry edition is a bit misleading because I truly feel like anyone from beginners to enthusiasts would love to have this board. It may be plastic, but it feels rock solid. Other than that small nick on the inside of the body, the only thing I would recommend at all is adding a little bit more lube to the stabilizers. I would also recommend getting a wrist rest as the 8 degree typing angle might be a bit steep for most people, but that's virtually it. Anyways, that pretty much sums up the video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, and if you'd like to support the channel and see more content like this go ahead and subscribe i gotta go eat some rice i'll see you guys on the next one this is little rice muncher gaming signing off thanks